Excalibur. That's beautiful, isn't it? There she is, Miss Annie. How are you doing? So, arriving at Lake Shore Manor on the first day, my expectations could not have been lower. When I met you the first time, I couldn't help but think, wow, we are so different. <laughs> I mean, what could a small town guy from Missouri and a girl from New York City have in common? But I'm falling in love with you. When I think about my life with Steven, I picture me getting on a plane and going to Gallatin, Missouri to spend time with him on his farm and him coming to New York to spend time with my friends. It's what I want my reality to look like. And I want to keep falling in love with you more and more every day. I compare our love to an avocado. You know, it was hard on the outside and it ripens over time. Now we're like soft and mushy and ready to make a delicious guacamole together. <laughs> I just feel like our connection is like unlike anything I've ever had before. I mean, it feels so natural and we just laugh and you make me feel everything I've always wanted to feel. Meeting you and forming this undeniable connection that we have together just really exceeded all my expectations. I am excited and I'm feeling butterflies and I am just anxious as to what is about to happen. You have made me feel very safe and confident in myself and opening up and being vulnerable to you, which is something that I've been looking for for a long time in a partner. <sighs> Ever since the first moment we locked eyes, I've been drawn to you. 18 women, now we're down to two for Kurt. And I'm just really excited to just get this night over with. Looking forward to starting our lives together. Every moment that's passed since, you went from catching my eyes to capturing my heart. Uh, you know, I was embarrassed being a small town country boy, but in the end, I think it's one of the things that connected us. I think so too. But. I felt like it was hard to get to know you. It's hard for me to put into words, honestly, the warmth that radiates from you. You are truly the most amazing person. Oh. You know, I've said it before, I am just a simple small town boy from North Missouri. And my whole life, everything I could ever need, I could find in that small town except for someone to share my life with. I know that we've been able to overcome a lot of obstacles here, and that gives me confidence in the life that we're going to build outside of here. I can't wait for the moment to be right and for you to finally meet my son. You know, we both came here not really knowing what to expect, but we connected since day one. I am a conflicted man right now. There is no doubt I you know, truly care about both these women. I think our paths were meant to cross here and I'm hoping that you're picking me. <laughs> Legitimately, I don't know what to do. It's just uh, tearing me apart on the inside. I've been wanting to find somebody, mm -hmm. but uh, just been burned a few times. You know, this is what I was nervous of this entire process. I've got two amazing women. I remember when I told you you're the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Proves more true tonight looking at you. My head is telling me Amanda, my heart is telling me Carolyn. It's a difficult decision. And now it's here. As much as this breaks my heart, my heart belongs to someone else. Hurting someone I care about, it's just uh, tearing me apart on the inside. We're certainly going to miss you here at Lakeshore Manor. But we still need to find out exactly who is rich and who is not. Money? It's definitely been an insecurity in the past. Are you the Joe Millionaire? I have true feelings for each of these women. And, uh, you know, this decision is not going to be easy. I've got two amazing women who offer two completely different life paths for me and um, I'm more torn now than ever.
Carolyn. I think the passion we have for each other is unreal. You can't make it up. But as much as I love having passion in my life, it has burned me in the past, truly. Keep getting the feeling that this will burn out. And you've got so much to think about in your life. Hey, Carolyn, as much as this breaks my heart. My heart belongs to someone else. I'm sorry, Carolyn. You want to say something? Can I go now? I made a woman fall in love with me, and I can't reciprocate it. It was pretty much a slap in the face. I'm certainly gonna miss you here at Lakeshore Manor. He made the right decision because if he was that insecure that whole time, it's not the one for me, so. I'm the girl that got away. <sighs> that sucked. I am a conflicted man right now. There is no doubt I, you know, truly care about both these women and hurting someone, uh, especially someone that I care about and I know is a good person is never, never fun for me. It's one of the things I dread most and it's just uh, tearing me apart on the inside. We connected since day one. And it actually gave me hope that, uh, you know, this could actually work. You know, really, the only thing that I can say is, at this point, I have stronger feelings for someone else. I have to say I'm surprised. Please do not stop feeling deeply or being open because you're an amazing person and I've learned so much from you and what we've had here. I hope you found everything that you're looking for here. I hope so. I am so close to losing it. My heart's hurting. Part of me is almost in shock. I was almost waiting for him to say that he was just kidding. It's a problem that always happens with me. I get to this point in feeling and I want to fall and I want to jump and the guy just doesn't want to meet me there. So, Amanda, I have fallen in love with you, mm -hmm. and I want to be with you, <laughs> for richer and poorer, mm -hmm. if you'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a promise, though, that I want to start something with you, and I intend to see it through. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> Yeah, to say this has been a whirlwind is an understatement. Yes. <laughs> you know, I came here to find the person I could build my life with. And uh, one thing I have perfect clarity on is I can't imagine leaving here without you. Just have one question. Miss Calla Jackson. Yes. <laughs> For richer or poorer? <sighs> Oh my God. Would you accept this ring as a promise to make this work? Yes. <laughs> Let's put it on there. Yes. <laughs> Let's 
so pretty. <laughs> <laughs>